Hello everyone, this is Kalpana here. In this video, we are going to solve a differential equation using variation of parameters method in another way. So let's get going. Problem. Solve x square into d square y by dx square minus of 2x of 1 plus x into dy by dx plus 2 times x plus 1 into y equal to x cube. Here we are given a differential equation of order 2 using variation of parameters method. Given y equal to x and y equal to x e power 2x are linearly independent solutions of the corresponding homogeneous equation d square y by dx square minus 2 times 1 plus x by x into dy by dx plus 2 times x plus 1 by x square into y equal to 0. So this is a homogeneous equation of the given equation. Okay. Solution. Given differential equation x square into d square y by dx square minus 2x of 1 plus x into dy by dx plus 2 times x plus 1 into y equal to x cube. Now we'll write this in standard form by taking, I mean, by making the quotient of d square y by dx square to unity by dividing both sides of the equation with x square. Then we'll get d square y by dx square minus 2x of 1 plus x by x square into dy by dx plus 2 times x plus 1 by x square into y equal to x cube by x square. This gives us d square y by dx square minus 2 of 1 plus x by x into dy by dx plus 2 times x plus 1 by x square into y equal to x. Consider it as equation number 1. Okay. Where r of x is x here. Okay. We have r of x equals to x. And the homogeneous equation of equation 1 is put rh is equals to 0 then we will get d square y by dx square minus 2 times 1 plus x by x into dy by dx plus 2 times x plus 1 by x square into y equal to 0 consider it as equation 2 and we are given y equal to x and y equal to x e power 2x are linearly independent solutions of the homogeneous equation 2 Okay, which is nothing but when y equal to some constant into u plus another constant to v is the general solution of homogeneous equation or solution of homogeneous equation, then u and v are linearly independent solutions, are called linearly independent solutions. Already we are having linearly independent solutions then we can write the solution or general solution of our homogeneous equation or we can say solution of our homogeneous equation, right? Therefore, the solution of equation 2 is y equal to c1 into x plus c2 into x e power 2x, okay? Using this solution, we will write the solution of the given differential equation. Okay, fine. Or we can say that yc equals to c1x plus c2x e power 2x is a complementary function of equation 1. Okay, we can find general solution using y equal to yc plus yp here. Okay. Therefore, the solution of 2 is y equal to c1x plus c2x e power 2x. Therefore, yc equals to c1x plus c2x e power 2x is the complementary function
of equation 1. Okay. Let yp equal to just replace c1 and c2 arbitrary constants or parameters by functions of x, a and b. Then we will get yp equal to ax plus b into x e power 2x. Okay. Where a and b are functions of x. Okay, if you compare yc with c1u plus c2v or yp with au plus bv, we'll have u equal to x and v equal to x e power 2x, where u is equal to x and v equal to x e power 2x, right? So we are going to find a and b using formulae. A is given by integral minus v into r of x by u v1 minus v u1 and b is given by integral u into r of x by u v1 minus v u1. You notice we are having u v1 minus v u1 in both the formulas. So let's begin with u v1 minus v1. Firstly, we'll find u v1 minus v1. v1 is nothing but derivative of v with respect to x minus v into u1 is nothing but derivative of u with respect to x. This is equal to u. x into derivative of v. x e power 2x minus v. x e power 2x into derivative of u with respect to x. This is equal to x into derivative of. Here you are going to apply uv whole dash formula which is equal to u dash v plus v dash u. Right? We will get derivative of x with respect to x into e power 2x plus v e power 2x into derivative of sorry u into derivative of e power 2x with respect to x minus x e power 2x into derivative of x with respect to x is 1. This is equals to x times derivative of x with respect to x is 1 into e power 2x plus x into derivative of e power 2x with respect to x is 2 e power 2x minus x e power 2x. This gives us x into 1 into e power 2x is e power 2x plus 2x e power 2x minus x e power 2x. This gives us x e power 2x plus 2x e power 2x into x is 2x square e power 2x minus x e power 2x. Here plus e power 2x and minus x e power 2x gets cancelled. We will get u v1 minus v1 is 2x square e power 2x. Therefore, u v1 minus v1 is 2x square e power 2x. Let's now find a, b and y, p. a is given by integral minus v into r of x by u v1 minus v1 into dx is equal to minus integral v x e power 2x into r of x is x by u v1 minus v1 is 2x x square e power 2x into dx is equal to minus integral x into x x square e power 2x by 2x square e power 2x into dx. Here x square and e power 2x gets cancelled and you will get minus 1 by 2 integral dx which is equal to minus 1 by 2 or this gives integral minus integral 1 by 2 dx and we can take the constant outside the integral then we will get minus 1 by 2 integral dx. Integral dx is x this is equal to minus x by 2. Therefore a equal to minus x by 2. Let's now find b. You can find b using integral u into r of x by u v1 minus v1 into dx. This is equal to integral u is x into r of x. x by 2x square e power 2x into dx. This is equal to integral 
x square by 2x square e power 2x into dx. Here x square gets cancelled and we'll get integral 1 by 2 e power 2x dx. We'll get b equals to just split the fraction as 1 by 2 into 1 by e power 2x dx. Take the constant outside the integral and write 1 by e power 2x as e power minus 2x into dx. This gives us 1 by 2 into integral e power minus 2x is minus e power minus 2x by minus 2 which is equal to minus 1 by 4 e power minus 2x. Therefore, b equal to minus 1 by 4 e power minus 2x. So, we got a and b. Let's now find y p. y p is given by a x plus b x e power 2 x, right? Substitute a and b here. We'll get minus x squared by 2 plus into minus minus 1 by 4 or x by 4 into e power minus 2x into e power 2x. Since we know that e power minus 2x into e power 2x can be written as 1 by e power minus 2x can be written as 1 by e power 2x into e power 2x. We'll get 1 or just add the powers then we'll get minus 2x plus 2x which is equal to e power 0 since e power 0 is 1. So you'll get e power minus 2x into e power 2x equals to 1. Just replace it with 1. Okay, we'll replace e power minus 2x into e power 2x with 1. We'll get minus x squared by 2 minus x by 4 or minus 1 by 2 into x squared minus 1 by 4 into x which is our required yp. We got yp and we have yc. Let's write the general solution using y equal to yc plus yp. Therefore, the general solution is given by y equal to yc, yc is c1x plus c2x e power 2x plus yp minus 1 by 2x square minus of 1 by 4 into x. This completes the problem. So this is all for now. I hope you'll understand. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.